hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin and don't forget to check out my logo animation masterclass course on udemy link is available in the description so you can do check it out now and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects as always we will create a new composition and we will call it as main animation like this width is 1920 height 180 frame rate 30 and duration is let's say uh, 20 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action like this. Now select your text tool and I'm going to choose Oswald font and I'm going to choose semi bold version of this font. And let's type text. I'm going to type motion. Let's say select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally, and then align it vertically. Go to the character menu, and I'm going to choose distance between this for text is minus 30, like this. You can choose whatever font you want. I'm going to select this text and I'm going to choose red color for it, and I'll lock this layer. Then I'm going to create another text and I'm going to type M. Select this text and choose black color. Now uh, this layer we are using as a reference and I'm going to move this over here. Make sure that it should match this. So you feel free to use your uh, arrow keys to move this position properly. Select this, hit Ctrl D, move this over here and change this text to O. And try to adjust the position. Hit Ctrl D, move this over here, change the text to T. Hit Ctrl D, move this over here, change the text to I. Select this O, hit Ctrl D, bring this at the top and let's move this over here. Hit Ctrl D and let's make this N. Yep, look, this looks good. Okay. So this is how you will get text. Now we need to animate this text. So select this text, press P for position, create one keyframe go to around let's say one second and we will create another keyframes go to the start and we will bring this downwards somewhere around over here like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so if you hit play you will get this kind of animation like this okay so this is uh, the one portion of this now let's uh, hide this one at least for now like this and, and at this point around one second which means uh, at the last keyframe i'll press ctrl r to create one ruler and i'll bring this ruler over here so this is going to be act like my reference point like this then i'm going to select my rectangle tool and from here to here i'm going to create one rectangle like this okay then press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally. Press S, unlink this and if you want to decrease the size, you can. And you can simply move this over here like this, as you guys can see. And then if you want, then you can remove this, uh, you know, grid. We don't want that. And I'm going to move this over here. Make sure that all of this text should touch this line. Okay. And after doing that, we will select our ellipse and I'm going to create one ellipse over here. Select this ellipse, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally. And uh, I'm going to select this ellipse. I'll press Y on my keyboard to select this pen behind tool. So let's select this and by holding Ctrl, I'll snap this anchor point at the bottom like this. Now what we will do, I'm going to let's hide this alphabet at least for now. We don't need to focus on that. So select the shape layer, press P for position, create one keyframe, go to around one second, create another keyframe and then go to the start. And let's bring this ellipse at the top like this. 
then after that uh, we will go few frame forward up to 10 frames i'll create one keyframe and at this point i'm going to move this uh, over here so if i see this animation i'll get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 to easy knees those keyframes go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this over here and this handle over here then zoom in a little bit uh, and let's go over here select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here and this handle should be over here mm, see like this and this handle should be over here so if you see this animation now we will get something like this okay so after doing all of this stuff uh, let's try to animate this now now at this point uh, i'll go let's say hit pay down button two times so you, it will go to frame forwards create one keyframe at position then i'm gonna go somewhere around three seconds maybe or uh, let's say 3.15 and i'm going to move this from here to here let's say like this oh sorry uh, over here okay let's adjust it so if you see this stuff now we will get this animation uh, select those uh, keyframes and hit f9 to easy knees those keyframes okay so if you see this you will get something like this and if you think the animation is slow let's move this over here somewhere around over here so we will get something like this let's move it to three frames like this now select this press s create one keyframe over here hit u go to the last keyframe and let's make this zero okay so if you see you will get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 also over here so we'll get something like this but if you see this is uh, looks quite weird so let's select this keyframe and this keyframe and let's try to move this somewhere around over here uh over here let's say or uh, let's move this over here and this keyframe should be over here so if i see this stuff now i'll get something like this let's move this a little bit forward yeah this looks good to me then after that i'm going to select this shape uh, layer over here press y for scale uh, pan behind tool and by holding control i'll snap this anchor point over here at this point over here now press s move this stuff over here create one keyframe over here go to the last keyframe create another keyframe and go to the start and let's make this value zero okay and select those keyframe also and hit f9 so as you guys can see i'll get something like this so if i see this animation from the start i'll get this animation then i'll get this animation okay so you can go to this point and let's try to move this a little bit upward so we will get some extra bounciness and then we will get this okay this much looks good to me and after all of that i'm going to enable those layers and now i want them to be animated after this ball is in front of them so at this point i want this end should start to animate so i'll move this over here then after this this o should start to animate then after this point i'll move this i over here then after this point this one should start to animate then after this this one then at this point i want this m should start to rise like this okay like this now after that select all of these layers uh, i mean this uh, alphabet layers press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and i'm going to type text or let's say type motion so it would be better to understand that this is motion text and simply hit ok and hold alt and open bracket like this so now we are going to create mask on it so simply select your rectangle selection tool and we will create one mask and it should cover this portion up to here okay so if you see this stuff now we will get something like this so if i select this and make this fit i'll get this animation then this animation okay then after this we have this rectangle shape over here then after this entire animation i'm going to select this and i'll press ctrl shift d make sure to that you are at the last keyframe of the scaling animation let's minimize this we don't need to cover on that 
let's select this and i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer now hit u and for this one we don't need any animation and if you want then you can change the color of this one to yellow one also let's select this one and we should change the color case to yellow so we can easily understand that these are two different layers now select this press y to select your pen behind tool and by holding ctrl i'll move this anchor point over here zoom in a little bit and let's try to move this anchor point over here like this okay so if i see this animation now i'll still get this animation and this animation then at this point i'll select this i'll press r for rotation i'll create one keyframe then i'll press s for scaling option i'll create another keyframe then hit u so we can see both the keyframes go to around one second and let's rotate it from here to here so basically we will make it 270 then we need to decrease the scale on x-axis somewhere around over here let's see like this okay and select both the keyframes and hit f9 so if you see we will get this animation and let's select this and let's move this over here select all both the keyframes go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and i'm going to move this handle over here and select this and move this handle over here select this and move this handle also here so if you see this animation you will get something like this okay and then select this and press p for position uh go somewhere around over here let's say I'll create a uh, uh, hit you go over here press P create one keyframe then go to around six seconds and move this thing from here to here like this so if you see select this and uh, hit F9 uh, sorry hit F let's select those keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease those keyframe go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this okay then after that i'm going to select this motion text which is this layer over here i'll select this and i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer like this now select this rectangle tool and we will change the fill to red and hit ok and then uh, from here to here i'm going to create one mask like this press ctrl alt home and select this hit enter and let's call it as mask and hit ok and simply move this layer over here and shift it over here now select this mask and make it a parrot with this shape layer which is this one so what will happen that this mask will move with this one now select this uh, motion text which is this one press f4 and i'm going to choose let's say alpha mask so if you see we will get this vanishing animation of this text so if i see this animation from the start i'll get this animation first then this then after this we will get this animation so let's see these things from the start like this and then this okay this is looks good then uh, we uh, what we need to do i'll select this shape layer i'll hit u i'll go to the last keyframe and i'll press ctrl shift d again to split it hit u and let's uh, delete all the keyframes we don't need that now select this and press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press s create one keyframe go to seven second and let's make this zero on y axis oops uh, uh, on x axis select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and this handle over here so we will get something like this you can move this handles also like this okay but one thing we need to understand that we need to create another text also over here so let's select this text tool and we will type graphics let's select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to this align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this okay then select this and let's move this over here select this mask and hit ctrl d bring this at the top select this graphics and we are going to choose alpha inverted mask so we will get this kind of reveal like this so if you see this animation from the start i'll get this 
this this and then this so this is how you will get this animation then right click new and create one null object and uh, let's select all of them and uh, or we don't need to create null object actually for this simply select all of them and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as animation and hit ok uh, like this and go to around 7.15 frames uh, press s create one keyframe go to the start uh, let's make this create another keyframe go to the last and i'm going to make it 110 and hit n so if you see this animation along with this animation you will get a little bit of scaling animation also like this now let's go inside this and over here uh, we have this uh, rotation animation over here for this so let's select this and hit u go over here select this layer and press ctrl shift uh, i mean ctrl shift d to split this layer over here hit u now uh, as you guys know that everyone is parent with the sixth layer over here so what we are going to do i'm going to select this and i'll hit ctrl d so uh, as you guys can see everyone is now parented with seventh layer and i'm going to select this layer over here which is this one i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as eco layer and hit ok hold alt and open bracket uh, go over here alt close bracket so now what will happen that on this layer as you guys know that this one and this one both are the same layer if you see this is also same layer this is also same layer but the difference is that now this is in the composition because we want to apply eco effect on it so that's why i have created duplicate and i have to move this thing into uh, the new composition now i will select this i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'm going to search for eco effect and i'll simply double click to apply so as you guys can see you will get this kind of echoes and over here i'm going to remove this first three over here and instead of second three i'm going to type two and let's increase the number of echoes to 30 or let's say 20 this looks good so let's choose quarter resolution so we will get something like this or i think instead of this two let's type one and let's see mm, let's see in full resolution uh, we will get something like this and if you want more stuff over here then you can increase the number of echoes like i can choose 40 also so you will get this proper thing over here obviously it will take a little bit time to load but the final output would be awesome so uh, you can use this technique also like this okay so if i see this animation from the start over here i'll get this and then this okay then i'll press ctrl y to create one solid background i'll move this over here right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect i'm going to apply tint effect and for the color i'm going to choose let's say bluish color over here and for this color i'm going to choose white color so uh, it will look uh, a little bit more elegant like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of text creative text animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned